This is question 1e. In this question, we are asked what type of sequence with ROC that forms an annular ring. Now, what is an annular ring? It looks like this. This is the z-plane and the region of convergence is only between two circles. It looks like a ring. Now, we can rule out in finite duration sequence because finite duration sequence is the entire z-plane which is not a causal sequence because causal sequence extend outwards it is not the anti-causal sequence because anti-causal sequence have ROC that extend inward so what is this? well, you will notice that the answer is actually it is a two-sided sequence and it is a two-sided infinite sequence and the sequence is bounded by two poles one at this position at radius r2 and the other one with radius r1 let's see an example so we have a two-sided infinite sequence on the causal side is half to the power of n u n on the anti-causal side is minus bracket 3 n u minus n minus 1 so this is the sequence we take the Z transform individually. For A N U N, the Z transform is one over one minus A M C minus one. Interestingly, for this, for this expression of X N, but for anti causal, it is the same expression. The only difference is Z greater than A for the top one, which is a causal, Z less than A for the anti causal. Now. Well, let's go ahead and find the Z transform of half N U N. The answer is here Z one, X1 is Z over Z minus R1, where R1 is 3. This is the Z transform of the anti causal signal. X2 is the causal signal. R2 is half. So Z X2 is z over z minus half we draw the position of the two poles for z equals to half we draw the region of convergence that is external to him now for the other region of convergence at z equals to 3 we draw internal to him the green guy because for z equals to 3, this is for the anti-causal sequence. z equals to half is the pole for the causal sequence. It is the overlap between this red and green that is the final ROC. And hence, the final ROC is only this annular ring. So the answer to this question is, what type of sequence will form an annular ring? And the answer is that it must be an infinite sequence on the causal side, the pole will be sitting on uh, radius at R2 and the anti-causal side will be radius R1. When R2 is less than R1, the overlap occurs and the region of convergence is an annular ring. That's the answer. Thank you.